Hey, my loves, it's me, Keisha, and I am here with the 2023 SAG Awards Fashion Killer Review. I did not even know it was coming on this Sunday. So happy that I realized it before it was too late. The stars were out in full effect and they came with it, honey. Let's get into it. First up, we have Zendaya and Valentino styled by her infamous stylist, Luxury Law. I must say, I think that Zendaya looks absolutely stunning in this pink ensemble. It's reminded me of when Gwyneth Paltrow won her Oscars back in the early 2000s and she had her legendary pink dress moment. I must say that I loved Zendaya's look from Saturday night at the NAACP Awards much better. Her hair was much better. This time around, they put some curls in her hair to give it that old Hollywood effect, but I don't like the way it was executed. I liked her hair so much better Saturday when she had it blown out with the layers and it was just so bouncy and full. But this Valentino dress is really pretty, but it's not anything that's like over the top and just like a wow factor for me. It's very pretty. It's very bubblegum pink. I love the rosettes. Um, it fits her body gorgeously. I just want more from Zendaya. I'm so used to her setting fashion trends. And this dress just seems like an afterthought, like something that a newcomer would wear on the red carpet. It's something that, like I said, we've seen 50 million times on the carpet before it's not anything new or groundbreaking but however she looks beautiful so i'm gonna give her a fashion killer we have sag award winner tonight jessica chastain and zuhair barad and i must say miss jessica chastain has been on a fashion run honey she has been slaying the game every time she hits the red carpet this outfit is stunning i love this fuchsia colored dress i love that it's off the shoulder i love the sweetheart neckline i love the ball gown aspect to it it looks like it's made out of like a taffeta or a crepe material i like her hair smoothed back with the bold lip the really beautiful earrings it's not a lot going on with the jewelry it's just enough i like the bold green ring to add another pop of color she looks like springtime it looks romantic it looks rich. She looks stunningly gorgeous. Fashion killer. Style icon Kate Blanchett came wearing Giorgio Armani. And I mean, <laughs> this is what Zendaya was going for, honey. And she fell short. This is the look. Yes, ma'am, Miss Kate Blanchett. The hair, bouncy, curls on fleek. Very small, delicate earrings. This dress with the lace detail and this black sequin, it gives me dominatrix. It gives me, I am rich, I am woman, hear me roar. This dress gives her a waist and hips, honey. It gives her an hourglass shape. This is giving me vampirus. This is giving me tomb raider, honey. Yes, ma'am, Kate looks sexy. Yes, I am. I, I'm obsessed with this look. Stunning, tens across the board, fashion kill. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Star Michelle Yeoh in Scaparelli. This is straight off the runway from Scaparelli's spring summer collection show that they just showed um, literally about two weeks ago. She looks fantastic this dress might not be for everyone but it is for me i love this straw detail going down the front of the dress i love that it's black and i love that it is strapless this is just a statement piece this is couture she looks lovely in this ensemble i like that she paired it with a cute simple wash her hair is off of her face really pretty dangly earrings she looks beautiful beautiful Love it. Congratulations on her win tonight, fashion killer. Comedic genius and star of White Lotus, Jennifer Coolidge wearing Saint Laurent. And she is giving me Barbarella. Yes, I am loving this. I'm loving her 60s inspired hairdo with the headband, with it giving some height in the top, the really beautiful tousled curls. I love this simple black dress. It fits her body beautifully. Um, 
I like the little delicate, uh, small clutch, the black nails. She just looks sexy. She looks sexy for a woman of a particular age. She is giving va 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 voom. She is giving sex pot. She is giving sex on a stick. She is giving Stifler mom 20 years later. I can still get it. I'm a MILF. And you got me messed up. Fashion killer. Shirley Ralph was in attendance wearing Tadashi Shoji, styled, of course, by her daughter, Ivy Coco. And this picture does not do this just justice because when it was under the lights, you see all the detailing. You see the sparkles in this dress. It was made out of a, like a net sparkle, rhinestone, nude fabric. And it was stunning absolutely stunning I love her half up half down hairdo her makeup is beautiful it is beat to perfection her daughter is doing a phenomenal job with styling her she really is and I hope that she gets other clients based off what she is doing with Shirley Ralph she looks stunning fashion killer like everybody is slaying it so far Elvis star Austin Butler in Gucci and um, this is just a little bit too throwback for me. He is way too handsome for this old man suit. This looks like something my granddaddy would have wore before he passed. May he rest in peace. The color doesn't really bother me, but it's the fit of the pants. I don't like the wide leggedness of the pants at the bottom and how they kind of like stacked at the bottom. I wish they would have been brought in more in the leg. I like the vest. The jacket is really nice. I just don't like the pants. I really honestly don't. Um, really not really feeling his hair either and the scruffy facial feature. Like Austin Butler is a really good looking guy. He's really sexy, but I feel like he's channeling Elvis a little bit too much. Like I need for him to reel it on back, go back to the Disney kid he once was and go back to Austin. You're not Elvis, you're Austin. So I'm going to have to give him a fashion fine. Wednesday, breakout star Jenna Ortega is in Versace. Now at the, was that the Golden Globes or was that the Grammys? I want to say that was the Golden Globes where she had that really pretty toffee kind of nude brown dress. And I liked it. I don't think Sharita really did, but this Versace look, I love this dress. I love it. It's rock and roll. It's sexy. The material kind of gives me like a, a, a dull trash bag type of material. I like the heels. I like that it's sexy, you know, because she's very short and petite. She can look very adolescent, you know what I'm saying? So she has to like doll it up and kind of sex it up a little bit to, you know, remind people that she is a grown woman. What's Getting me, though, is this Mick Jagger hairdo. I'm not feeling the hairdo at all. It does nothing for her. She's giving me Joan Jett, and I'm not feeling it. I want her to change her hair ASAP. I'm just not liking the hair at all. It does absolutely nothing for her, and she is a really pretty girl. But this is giving me 1980s The Go-Go's, and that is a no-no. So because of her hair, I'm going to give her a fashion fine. Amanda Seyfried wore Prada and I'm obsessed with this look. So obsessed. This reminds me of something that I would have saw in like a 60s movie, something that like Twiggy would have worn. She looks so stinking cute. I'm loving the flips. I'm loving the half up, half down hairstyle. This dress is so mod. I love this. I love the way it looks from the back with the tails coming down. I love this money green, hunter green, whatever kind of apple green dress color this is. Love it. Love the shoes. I love the way they styled this. This is so me. This is a dress that I would be obsessed with. This shift dress is amazing. It wouldn't look this good on me though, because I need something that'll give me a waist. But this looks so good on her. Love this look. This is a major step up from the Golden Globes. Fashion killer. Ozark star Julia Garner wore Gucci. And I think she looked a lot better at the Golden Globes in that red ensemble that she wore. Not feeling this hairstyle at all. Not liking the bangs. She is giving sour puss in the face. I hate her eye makeup. I hate this brown smoky eye with the um, 
brown eyeshadow on her lower lids. It's making her look sickly. The nude tone lipstick looks like she got pneumonia. The dress, when I zoom in, the top part is made out of these beautiful crystals. Oh my God, stunning crystals at the top. And even this fabric, this um, russet colored fabric is beautiful. It's just the design of it that I'm not feeling. Or maybe I would have liked this on somebody taller because when, like I said, I zoom in on this dress, the details of it are stunning. And I think that maybe somebody that is taller and more statuesque could have pulled this off. You know who could have probably worn this and gave it a moment that it deserved? Jodie Turner-Smith. She would have looked stunning. This would have looked so good on her beautiful mahogany skin. Oh my God. But with Julia, this is just not vibing for me. It's giving me Elizabethan era and I'm just not liking it. The hair, I hate. The makeup, I hate. She's too short from it. But the dress, I don't hate. I do not though like the fan details on the arms. I just don't feel like it was needed. Um, that's a little weird to me, but the fabric is gorgeous, but I'm going to have to give Julia a roll kill girl. Mm -mm, I need for you to smile because you look like you got COVID. It look like you coming down with the flu or the bird flu or something It's giving me. You're not happy. It's giving me, you need to go lay on somebody's couch and talk to a therapist. Like you should be very happy. Love you're at the SAG awards and I need for you to act like it. Next up, we have the Bear Star, Ayo Adibri. I hope I'm saying her last name right. She is in Amelia Wickseed. If you have not watched The Bear on Hulu, you are missing out. Phenomenal show. Phenomenal. Oh my God, so good. But like I said, she's in Amelia Wickseed. Uh, this is cute. I noticed that she has a very quirky uh, sense of style. This isn't a dress that most people would even think of considering to wear. It is a light blue and brown checkerboard dress. Just the colors alone don't even register in my brain. Her braids are cute. You know, it's giving that ethereal kind of like I just rolled out of bed. I'm a nomad type of vibe. The silhouette of the dress is cute, but it really does nothing for her shape. I'm just not feeling this. It's just like... Man, I feel like I'm about to play a demented game of checkers. Like, this is just, no, it's kind of low-key scaring me a little bit. Roadkill. Angela Bassett arrived at the SAG Awards fresh off of her NAACP award from Saturday night. And this time, she is in Gian Battista Valley. And you all know in my NAACP Fashion Killer video, I stated how Gian Battista Valley is one of my favorites. And this dress is, it's really pretty. It's really beautiful. But once again, Gian Battista Valley has so many gorgeous looks on its last few runway shows. And Angela and Yara Shahidi picked like the most basic of basic of dresses from their collections. This dress I feel like we have seen on so many different starlets. It's a beautiful dress. I would have loved it with a different hairstyle. This hair does not go with this dress at all. With this dress being such a poof ball, it's giving me loofah. She needed something up and off her shoulders to break up her neck and this big poofy top. You know what I'm saying? It needed to balance it out. And I'm just not liking the styling here. Um, I haven't really been in love with Angela this award season with her fashion choices. I'm not knowing what's really going on. Then she has this seashell purse. Where does the seashell come in from? What, what you ain't starting the little mermaid lady what what is going on with the seashell purse i'm really not understanding the styling choices that are being done here the next big award show is the oscars and i'm low-key scared that she's not gonna bring it because she has not been bringing it for me in particular so i'm gonna have to give angela unfortunately a roll kill because i feel like this dress is wearing her and she's not wearing the dress it's overpowering her for me one of my favorite actresses and comedic actresses, Aubrey Plaza, wore Michael Kors. And this is a major step up from the Golden Globes. Remember at the Golden Globes, 
she had her hair blonde at the time, which I told Sharita, I was like, I think she has her hair blonde like this for a movie role because she's normally a brunette. She's a natural brunette. Um, I liked her dress, but we could not stand her makeup and that hair and the way she was posing. This looks more like Aubrey. It looks like she is, you know, in something that represents her, her taste, and that she's comfortable in. This dress really looked beautiful on screen when she presented an award. She looked really, really great. I love this beautiful caramel brown um, sparkly dress. I love the cutout. Her boobs are just the right size to wear something so revealing and it not look, you know, borderline sluttish. Um, I like her tousled hair. She looks really, really beautiful and glamorous. I'm going to give her a fashion killer. Tyler James Williams is just determined to piss me off. Like I, I personally feel like he has a vendetta against me because he chooses to come to these award shows dressed like a fool. He looked like a character off Toy Story. Where is he going with this tin man suit on? He does not know how to dress for his body type. He is straight up and down. He is very slender and skinny. He has broad shoulders and a nipped in waist and very skinny legs. And the cuts on these suits of his are horrendous. I mean, absolutely horrible. Why would they put these pants on him that look like they are the thickest, heaviest fabric I have ever seen? They look stiff. Then the bottom of the legs of the pants are kind of like flare, which does not help his legs at all. The tuxedo is too long, first of all. It's way too long. It hits him dang on near to the thigh. The cut of it is just... Uh, God awful, man. What? Oh my. It looked like he used all the starch in the world and ironed this suit. That's how stiff it looks. I don't like the pattern um, that they use, uh, the fabric that was used. It's like a plaid fabric, this white lapel with the black outline. It's just, oh my God, this man cannot dress worth a diggity dog on. He is a nice looking young man, but he needs to fire his style team immediately and start anew for next season because I am tired of being accosted by his nonsense. Go home, Roger. Roll kill. The Woman King star Sheila Atim, hope I'm saying her last name correctly, wore Christopher John Rogers, who is an African-American designer. And she's so tall and statuesque that she can literally wear anything and it's going to look great on her because she has such a model-esque physique. Of course, I love her hair. It's short. It's platinum. It's kind of like a platinum-y gray kind of color. Love her natural short hairstyle. Her makeup is done to perfection. I love the earring she has in her nose. It's just big enough. It's not gaudy looking. I love her dangly earrings. This outfit kind of reminds me more of an Ivy Park <laughs> um, ensemble. It gives me like a sporty vibe. This literally looks like something that Beyonce would have designed for um, Ivy Park. It's not something that I would have necessarily gravitated to. It's very eclectic. You have to have that type of taste to wear something like this. But nonetheless, it looks really good on her. A lot of people could not wear this dress and it looked nice. It looks good on her. The sleeves are giving me Gordon Gun Cartrail. Gordon Gontrail from uh, the Cosby show. But she looks good. Fashion killer. Eddie Redmayne wore Saint Laurent to the show. And this is giving me interview from a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> this is giving me William Shakespeare. This is giving me Romeo, Romeo, where are the Romeo? This is giving me um, peasant waiter. I don't know where sir is going with this uh, pussy willow top, honey. These girl, just throw the whole man away. Throw the man away, please. Try again, sir. I don't know what he thought he was doing, but whatever he thought he was doing, this ain't that. This is not that, sir. Uh-uh. No. No. Absolutely not.
throw him away, throw his stylist away, throw this outfit away. First of all, it's so basic. This look like something that a woman would wear to work at the bank. <laughs> like this ain't even fashion for like he thought he was doing something but you just look like a waiter you look like a waiter honey like absolutely not Roll kill. Fran Drescher stepped out and had to remind the girls that she is the one, not the two or the three, okay? She is a Neem Khan, and I mean, she is aging like fine wine. Fran Drescher has always been a fashion girl. Majority, like literally 95% of the outfits that she wore on the nanny can still be rocked today. She was setting fashion trends honey in the 90s and this woman looks phenomenal phenomenal she looks absolutely breathtaking i hate that the negotiations and talks between her and cardi b when cardi b first like blew up um they were talking about doing a revival of the nanny with cardi b i hate that those talks died down because if cardi b actually decided to fall back from rap and focus on like a television show a revival of the nanny with cardi b would be absolutely wonderful oh my god it would be the best thing since sliced bread like that show would be just as huge as fresh prince of bel-air could you imagine cardi b as the nanny say for instance like a boris kojo or somebody like that playing Mr. Sheffield. Oh my God, it would be must-see TV. Everybody would be tuned in. It would be a number one show. But anywho, Fran looks amazing. Hair on point, honey. Makeup, beat to the guys. This dress fits her phenomenally well. It's current. It's not giving old lady. It's still giving fashion for it. She looks great. She's there with her ex-husband who's gay, but they're still besties. Love her. Love this look. Fashion killer. Viola Davis showed up wearing Valentino and she looks beautiful she really honestly does I love this beautiful canary yellow color dress it fits her beautifully I love this very interesting like swivelly swirly type of neckline I love her bob love her hair this is really pretty the only thing that I want from Viola, I want Viola to give us a va va voom moment, moment. She has a great physique, a great figure, and she's a beautiful woman. I want her to give us a sex pot moment because she is a sexy woman. And I want her to give us some leg and some, some chest, you know, she's always kind of like covered up. And I want her to have that glamour girl moment. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if she doesn't think that she's worthy of it, but I want to see it. Come on. But other than that, she looks great. So I'm going to give her a fashion killer. Quinta Bronson gave us two back-to-back -back phenomenal looks. She looked great at the NAACP Awards. And she looks even better here at the SAG Awards in Jean Louis Sabage. She looks great. This looked even better on camera because it was fringe, black fringe with this white shell top. Then I loved her hair. She had her hair up in a top knot. But what they did was they did some little curly cues, some, you know, little cute little uh, Betty Boop ringlets in the front of her hair. Her makeup is just, oh, chef's kiss love the drop earrings the rings on her finger are just enough you know she is very petite so it could be very hard to dress her but her styling team is doing a great job at dressing her for her size and proportions and this dress is phenomenal i am obsessed i don't know much about this designer but i will be keeping my eye out for him i love this look fashion killer we also have her Abbott Elementary co-star, Janelle James, and she is in Rodarte. Now, she looks great. She looks great. She looks really pretty. But the look that she had at the NAACP Awards was just, oh my God, it was everything and then some. I feel like she took a step back with this look. Um, it's cute. It's pretty. Um, her makeup is really nicely done. She has the same wig that she had on the night before at the NAACP Awards, except for they put some curls in this wig. What I don't like about her wigs is that 
you can tell that they put the foundation in her part to make it more vivid. Um, she might need to find somebody else to do the wigs. This dress is pretty, but like I said, she looked like a gorgeous goddess at the NAACP Awards. And I feel like she went kind of safe with this. So I'm going to give her a fashion fine. Next up, we have Cara Delevingne and Carolina Herrera. And you know, Cara is a former model. She looks phenomenal. Love this look. This is giving me Upper East Side Gossip Girl my husband is 92 and about to croak any day now. And I'm about to get everything. I'm about to kick the step kids out and officially make the butler my man. This is everything. Oh my God. I love the bold red lip. I love her hair, the diamond necklace. This just looks expensive, honey. Yes. Carl looks great. Love this. It's a suit with this overskirt. Oh my God, this is done just phenomenally well. She looks so good. You know, people were really worried about her during the summertime because she seemed like she was having some mental health issues and some drug issues. So hopefully she's doing better and getting herself together because this look, honey, she slayed the game with this one, fashion killer. And in my final look, we have actress and comedian Niecy Nash and custom Vera Wang. You know, this is cute. This is cute for Nisi. Um, Love her bob. I love the blown out curls. Her hair looks really good. The dress is cute, but it's the top part with that extra fabric that they put on it that's bothering me. I wish that that fabric wouldn't have been there um, and that it would have just been, you know, the sweetheart neckline. I love the canary yellow color. It looks really beautiful against her skin. I just feel like I've seen Nisi look better. And I want to see Nisi do something different. Like she always gives us that, you know, va 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 voom curvy girl look. Like I want to see her take a fashion risk and try something different. She looks really pretty though. So I'm going to give her a fashion killer. Now it's that time of the night, you guys, for my best and worst dress, my fashion killer and my road kill. So my 2023 SAG Awards Fashion Killer Award goes to Cara Delevingne and Carolina Herrera. I mean, this just was just, <laughs> I'm speechless looking at this. This is amazing. I would wear this in a hot second. This is a timeless look that a lot of people could wear and slay in this. She looks great from head to toe. Not one bit of this outfit is out of place. The hair, the makeup, the earrings, the jewelry, the outfit, the shoes, everything was styled to perfection. Her team did a wonderful job with her look for the SAG Awards. Fashion killer for the night. And my road kill for the 2023 SAG Award goes to Tyler James Ferguson. Like, I'm sick of him. I really am. I'm, I'll am i be happy when award season is over so I don't have to look at these god-awful outfits that him and his team keep on putting together. He looked like an anorexic Lou Rawls. <laughs> I hate him. I hate him and I hate everything about this outfit. This is just, oh, it make my stomach hurt. I don't even like looking at this picture. That's how upset I am about this look. Like it is just a mess, a literal mess, road kill. And that you guys is my 2023 SAG Awards Fashion Killer video. Let me know down below in the comment section what were your favorite looks, what were your least favorite looks. Let's talk, you guys. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. I love you all, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.